some time since the death of Nawakopti, really, that they got to. Um, if you look at history of villages, I'm, I'm not historian, but if you look at history of villages, and I'm sure a lot of my um, okay, brothers and sisters are here, I'm sure they're not much better than I do. And for the last 60 years, it doesn't matter, Eastern Belichia San or Western Belichia San, or as long as I remember, anyway, I've been involved in politics by age of like, like a lot of British people, by age of, I don't know, um, 15 or 14, 15, that since then, you see a lot of destruction. You see major, major crimes committed in both East and Western Belichia San. Now, I try to ask myself, if you look at the last 60 years, has it been or had been crimes committed in the history of Baluchistan to that extent that it's been committed in the last 60 years? I can't find anywhere, unless you know better than I do, but I cannot find anywhere in the history of Baluchistan the except of crimes committed against Baluch nation, against Baluch people that we found in the last 60 years. Okay? In particular, both sides, Eastern and Western Baluchistan. Okay? Well, just good indication, it's very good indication that when you're occupied, of course people are going to resist. Okay? Of course people are going to resist. And as people, they resist and they want to their freedom, then you get people get killed and of course people they get tortured and so forth. Mm -hmm. So in the last sixty years, if you just look at the whole history of Bill is it's really exceptional. Okay? And within the last sixty two years of occupation of Pakistan, then you see there is a correlation, there is a relationship between the extent of crime committed against Polish people and the creation of Pakistan, or occupation of Polish Assad by Pakistani state. Now, I started with that. Now, the second thing, when Noah was king, Noah Bhakti, I started to ask myself, as someone who was involved in Marxist politics, okay, so absolutely against any kind of like, okay, salary system or whatever you call it, okay, any backward way of thinking, but you get to the point, you ask yourself, when you got someone like 79 years old, and you go and kill this guy, then you ask yourself, why? 79 years old. I'm sure all of you are familiar, a little bit at least with the history of Greece, okay? I'm, I'm sure you heard about Socrates. You still remember this guy. And he was an old guy and was killed again by a brutal system. So when you ask yourself, and there is a man, 79 years old, and you kill this guy, what does it show? It shows the extent of the brutality of the system. The extent of the brutality of the system. The guy could have died like in five years time, I don't know, two years time. But when you go and you kill someone who is old, who is about to die, naturally, and you're going to kill it, and this shows the extent of the brutality that exists within that system. Okay? It's an indication that this system hasn't got any value for human rights or human dignity or any rights for anyone. And apart from that, you look at any, um, in history, any culture, if you look at all the culture, it doesn't matter that, that this culture are in East, West, North, in Europe, or in India, or in China, or any in Africa. What people value is if you're old, you've got certain respect. Okay? You've got, if, if you look at all the cultures throughout history, that means within all these cultures, if you're old, if you're young, if you're vulnerable, you are respected. They try to respect your rights of to exist, but when you get a system which is based on corruption, which is based, the foundation of the system, Pakistani system, is based on crime, is based on the notion that you can create, 
okay, a country based on certain sort of nonsense religious notion, okay, regardless of the rights of the people who existed. So you can easily manipulate, control them, and if they say anything, you suddenly become anti-religion, you become anti-government, and then you equal Pakistan to Islam, and therefore you can easily can kill people, whatever you want to kill. Um, Akbar Bhakti, by the way, okay, I was very critical of the any Sadai system, so I was a really happy chap in terms of okay, Akbar Bhakti participating with the system. Okay? As long as Akbar was part of the establishment, there was no problem. Okay? So there was nothing in relation to Adam Sadari system. There was no problem in terms of being anti-establishment or nothing. As soon as he started, as soon as he realized that, because within the any corrupt system, then you can create your enemies within the system. Pakistani system is full of that. Okay? They got just got rid of Musharraf again because within Musharraf they created his own enemies. So as soon as Akbar started to ask or demand Baluch rights, and he became enemy. As soon as he said, look, we've got equal rights, exactly equal rights at other nations, okay, then they said, look, he's anti-Islam, he's a Sardar, he's anti-development, and therefore, then you easily can justify, okay, um, if, well, if you cannot undermine him, you know, by saying all that, then the last, okay, you, the last thing is what you do, you're going to kill him. And it wasn't just killing him, okay, it wasn't just killing him, a lot of people with him being killed. A lot of hundreds, hundreds of hundreds of other people being persecuted or killed and tortured. Now, what does it signify? It signifies that if you kill someone as old as 79 years old man, then you could do a lot of other things, by the way. You could do, there is no extent, there is no limit in what you could do. Okay? Imagine someone like Akbar Bhakti, okay, very prominent, <coughs> not just nationally, okay, but at least internationally was recognized. Now imagine that they get all the youngsters, Baluch youngsters, men and women, who having got that spot, what they could do with them. You just think about that. When you've got the extent of criminality of this sort of system, then anything possible, anything possible with this sort of regime. Okay? Now, there is then one option. Again, there is another thing that the death of Akbar Bhakti signifies. There is no other option from Baluch people apart to get their own independence, to be free. There is nothing within the Pakistan system or Iranian system that you can really get your rights. There is no way. As long as you believe that the sanctity of this border, artificial border created by this criminal regimes, there is no hope for the Baluch people. Or there is no hope, not just for Baluch people, my brothers and sisters Sindhis are here, there is no hope for Punjabi, there is no hope of farce as well, okay? As long as you've got this border and with this sort of criminal system. So the death of Akbar Bhakti is not really just signified that death of one person, it shows the extent of criminality of this system. The system inherently is criminal, is crook. Unless you get rid of that system, you are not going to have any sort of like human rights, you are not going to have any democratic institutions and so forth. Okay, I appreciate it.